Children's Minister Catherine Zappone was opening Alison Lowry's Hidden Truths exhibition at the National Museum last Tuesday. This is Sheila O'Byrne, a mother and baby home survivor, confronting Minister Zappone with a map showing the location of 600 infants in the Besbara mother and baby home grounds. She also called for immediate investigation and survey of the area four years on into the Commission of Investigations probe. This uh, is a copy then of the map which you gave to uh, Minister Sapone last night, Sheila O'Byrne, yeah? Yes it is, that's correct. And it shows uh, the burial grounds in Besborough. Uh, what message did you have for the Minister last night? Well I uh, went in on request of the mothers of Besborough mm -hmm. and how distraught the mothers are and pointed out that there's a burial ground with 600 uh, okay. children and babies. Mm -hmm. It shows clearly where the burial ground is. Ah, and nothing's been done about it? Nothing. Sheila was joined the following day by David Kinsler and Tony Kelly of United Survivors Group as they delivered an open letter to both the Minister and here to the Commission of Investigation being led by Judge Yvonne Murphy. The letter protests over a number of key issues, including delay in the report, the failure to do ground surveys in Besborough, and obstruction of the Commission by four government departments, the HSE and TUSLA. I, I had a recent case that, that only finished yesterday, uh, where I was fighting with the HSE on behalf of a friend of mine who was looking for his sister, who died at four months old. And the HSE denied any knowledge, they wouldn't give us nothing at all, they had nothing. Eventually, a, H a HSE chief officer wrote to me, to me personally, and he said, unfortunately, there was a sad little inform me, there was a fire, and mm -hmm. everything was burned. Yes. I then went back to him and I questioned him, I said, could you tell me the date of the fire, and was the insurance company involved, were they notified, and was there much of the damage done? He then came back to me and denied all knowledge that he ever said in the first place. Now, it wasn't until three weeks ago that we took legal action on behalf of this lad. Yeah. And within 48 hours, my friend had an A4 envelope pushed in his door mm. with everything. The letter also points out that 150 people's feedback to the minister at meetings in Dublin and Cork hotels has been ignored and demanded interim redress in order to meet the needs of the survivor community. Um, I've lost count of the amount of times it mentions uh, recommendations for redress, that survivors need redress and health and well-being needs also, like you know. Mm. Um, we don't want a, a sort of a soup and bread menu, we want a full menu of the survivors, like you know. The children's burial ground has been known to the Commission for over four years, but to date no investigation has taken place. You can listen to our interview with forensic archaeologist Tony Maguire in a link you'll find in the description on this video.